UHV system is designed to create ultra clean environments for nanofabrication of 2D materials. Designed with two primary goals. One of them is to advance fundamental science and the other one is to develop transition towards applications. The UHV system will help to enable key applications where 2D materials can really shine. And that is, for example, healthcare applications, quantum computing, aerospace devices. And we're also collaborating with quite a lot of industrial partners that are interested in this technique. The main part of the system is the core chamber, which consists of a 12-axis robotic manipulator that's maintained at about one trillion atmospheric pressure. And that allows us to precisely maneuver and position 2D materials to build up structures of different layers and produce novel devices. The second system is the deposition chamber, and this is a physical vapor deposition or PVD system, a system that allows us to evaporate metals and produce either metallic contacts or coat surfaces with metals. So the backbone of the system is known as the transfer tunnel, and this is a long vacuum chamber that allows us to move the samples around the system. At one end we have a load lock system to load samples in and pump them down into the ultra-high vacuum environment. So the best thing about the UHV suite is the fact that we can do all of our traditional fabrication steps within this ultra-high vacuum environment. So we can take our substrates and load them into the system through our load locks where we can condition them all in parallel. We can heat them all up to 900 degrees to anneal them, and we can clean them in a variety of different gases and using different plasmas to ensure that there's absolutely no contamination from the outside involved. The next steps are to exfoliate the different crystals we need. So one after the other, we can use our anvil, which has two parallel stages, to exfoliate the different crystals one after the other. We can then use the optical microscope setups we have in the core chamber to easily search through all of these exfoliations to find the crystals with the exact dimensions and thicknesses that we need. We have two stages. Uh, they can all move in X, Y and Z. They can rotate and they can tilt. And this means that we can position our crystals with up to nanometer precision. We have a set of two stages, one which will hold our crystals and the second which holds a set of metal coated silicon nitride membranes. These were something we've had to develop specifically for use in ultra high vacuum because the traditional methods of transferring crystals around use polymer stamps. These outgas significantly and they introduce a lot of contamination into devices. So by using these metal coated membranes instead that are actually suitable for use in UHV, we can make the devices much cleaner. Once we've created our samples in UHV, we want to characterize them to see what properties they might have. Using conductive atomic force microscopy, we've measured a tenfold improvement in the homogeneity of our stacks on the nanoscale. The UHV system is coupled with a, a scanning tunneling microscope and a UHV optical setup, which means that we can measure samples that are made in UHV without having to expose them to ambient atmosphere. The UHV uh, scanning tunneling microscope enables us to measure the actual electronic properties of the material locally, which is good because we want to study a lot of structural properties of the materials which we make in UHV. Using Encryostat, we're able to probe the properties of our materials down to 4 Kelvin, which enables us to probe states of matter which are not present at room temperature. With recent upgrades to the system, we're also able to process up to 18 samples simultaneously. We also have a number of what's known as vacuum suitcases. These allow us to move samples between different parts of the Royce UHV suite, but it also means we can take samples into different institutions or different experimental facilities as well, without breaking the ultra-high vacuum conditions. We are moving towards the new stage here. It is very hard to say when. I think the first application will be less visible because they will be somewhere in space up on a satellite. And even though we will experience the benefits of having them, we will not directly see them as a consumer.